Greetings everyone, it's Chip Lord here from Awesome Sock Studios and welcome to Dueling Nexus. Technically it's just Yu-Gi-Oh. I mentioned in oh, my mic a little. I mentioned in what was it? Dragon Ball Heroes, which I played on the channel by the way, you can go look at that video in the description below link. Uh that I play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, you know, I actually have an idea. Um, if you don't know what Dueling Nexus is, Dueling Nexus is like YGO Pro, but except it's completely online, and it's completely browser-based. So you don't have to download anything, it's actually very ch cheap, um, like, data-wise, and it's very fun to play against other players on Nexus. It's much easier to use than YGO Pro, in my opinion. No, I'm not, sponsor I'm not sponsored in any way by Dueling Nexus to, like, advertise for them or anything. That's just my personal opinion. I know that came off as kind of an advertisement. It's not. It I'm not sponsored. However, Nexus, if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> yeah, whatever, DM me, okay, whatever. Um, so I thought I might just go on. I'm not great at Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I'm not. I'm not an expert. Like I'm very British the expert. I'm not an expert, and um, I've I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for like I don't know, for a couple of years, but um, I kind of fell off the train when links became a thing. I kind of just went. So, yeah, ever since Lynx, I've kind of just not done it. And I, I thought, it might, it might be time for me to catch up. Catch up with Yu-Gi-Oh! So, like, learn how to play Lynx, get better at the game, become more meta. Because uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the things I really like, love, like, love, really love. And, um, like, I'm adding DBZ to the channel, adding Yu-Gi-Oh! Be more anime-ish centric. So, I was like, how about I just duel some random people on Nexus for a video? And play with this, with it with a random deck. This deck, which I, um I constructed, I can uh, constructed this deck a while back, and it's not a competitive deck. It's more of a, a troll deck. And I'm just gonna like do this and just see what happens. I don't expect to win any of my duels, but I thought I might as well play with this deck and just see what happens. So let's just let's go. If you guys are looking to ever play against me, I could set up, if anyone would want to challenge me, I could set something up, like a time to do this, and then I could, like, for like maybe, like, for the next three hours doing this, this, and this time, I accept all challenges, and then you can, like, search, because um, there's now a search for name option, so that you can search for me, Chiplord, on Dueling Nexus, and you can, um, duel against me if you would want to. Uh, also, what was I say about something? Um, if you play on YGO Pro, if you export your deck to like a YGC or something format, you can import that into Nexus. So you can just cop, like basically export and import your decks from Nexus to uh, this um into a uh, from YGO Pro to Nexus as well. So if you if you play on Nexus and you were like, I want to play on um. If you, if you play on YGO Pro, I keep using them up, and you want to play on Nexus, then you can just import, export and import your decks. So, uh, let's duel. Okay, I'm going to use my deck. It's called Postpone. Let's see if, in, let's see if anyone takes the bait. Uh, Alistair invoked. Get ready to duel. Okay, uh, I'm going first. Uh, I wanna go. I'll go first. As you can see from the deck, this deck is extremely annoying. Uh, let's set down a Chibi and Mado, and I'll set down Scapegoat just for fun. This deck isn't at all meant to win. It's meant to just make people mad. Let's see what this guy does. Oh yeah, that's my Link on I have Phantom Knights of Curse Javelin in the, in the extra day. I have Link Monster. Exes Monster. He activates what 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 I what I activate? In protection salvation monster. Yeah, also to mention, I have n I stopped following you a while back, so lot like most of like the new archetypes since two thousand and ten or like two thousand and twelve, I have no idea what they are, so Oh wait, oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry Alistair. So yeah, I have no idea what the new archetypes do, so if I come off as a noob, that's why. I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! for a while, it's just I have been out of the loop, and what are these things? Diversial candle, diversial... So, this deck features heavily, to my, from what I can gather, ritual-type monsters, like, yes. So, next... 
Well, this guy's playing Necros with whatever impactation, whatever those are. So I'm guessing this is like a variant, like... Uh, yeah, so this guy seems to be playing Necros, which I've... I've heard about Necros. I've never played against someone using Necros, really. Uh, okay, uh, what... Okay, so Necros seems to be an attacking card, because, like, this guy, uh, Necros attacks, so... This guy seems to really know what he's doing. Like, really much. He knows what he's doing. This deck... My deck has some win conditions, but they're not meant for winning. I'm, I want to see... Can I troll this guy? Can I? Really? Like, this deck is meant to be a stall troll deck. So like, as you can see by Cherry and Mado, Giant Gem. This guy's turn is just... Just going, right? And the Ritual Spell. Okay, finally, he battles me. Let's see what he does. When I summon up two copies of Marsh Macaron. Okay. Okay, next turn. Let's see what I can do. Uh, I'm going to set Cherry and, Cherry and Mado in my turn. I want to see, can I make this guy mad? Like I said, I have two win conditions in my deck, really. This deck has three win conditions. One is... Final Countdown. Second one is... Um, wave Motion Cannon. And the third one is just by deck out. So I want to see, can I get to a Wave Motion... Specifically, Wave Motion before this. I kind of want to build the final countdown, Jake, just to see how it works these days. Yeah, that's when I'm an old school player. I'm like, I'm using wave motion. Other people's like, uh, spirals, B. Sp is spiral still a thing? <laughs> as you know, as you know, I'm out of the loop. Hopefully, the Yu-Gi-Oh community doesn't rip my head off because it's like, oh, he he doesn't keep it up. He's so outdated. Hopefully the Yu-Gi-Oh community doesn't just rip my head off. <laughs> hey, this guy's going to use that effect to sacrifice his cards so he can draw two cards. Yeah, I've seen this before now. He's... If he, unless you have a lot of negates... This deck is kind of not destined to defeat this guy's deck, but has a good chance because so far, Touchwood, he's only seeming to yeah set up atta attacks, and then doesn't seem to have any negation effects, which hopefully he doesn't. Okay, he spells summons another. Oh oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see what you did there. He triggers his monsters and now check now Marsh Macaron's effect won't activate. But wait, what? But Marsh Macaron's effect that wasn't gonna activate anyway until you at least not until you defeat the, the other Marsh Macaron. So, can you only do that in that turn, or does Chaos Max... If this card is special summoned, you can tribute one monster for this turn. If this card is special summoned... So, only once... Or just whenever the... Or, like, only when you special summoned, and then that can do it one time, or... If you special summon him, you can do it forevermore, because you have to special summon him. He's a ritual monster. That's the only way you can. Like, even ritual summons can't the special summon it, so... That's weird. Uh, I'm gonna set down a nimble Momonke. Momonga. Momonga. I keep saying Momonke. Momonke? Momonga. It's, it's, it's nimble Momonga. 
We're gonna set that down and see what he does. He has two cross face down. That, do people people don't even run that many traps these days unless your deck calls for it, so I'm almost betting those two are spells. Especially with um Magician of Chaos. As long as he doesn't isn't able to use for a second that, that looked like double or nothing. Uh if if he doesn't sacrifice if he doesn't use Chaos Max's Black Chaos Max effect again and he attacks Cherry and Mado, I get my other two Mados back, so. Ach, not Cherry and Mado, Uh, Necros, it's another ritual monster. This guy loves his rituals. Oh. Oh no. Is he really going for the whole. Is he gonna try to bring Shooting Quasar back with. Oh, fudge. I'm dead. Oh, you got rid of my macaron and of my scapegoat. Like, what, what was this effect? Ah, that makes me sad. I lost my giant gym, I lost my, one of my macarons, and I lost my... Uh, well, at, at least, like, this turn, I should, I'll be fine, unless he uses whatever this is. Is he ever going to attack me? I have cards to block his attack, if I draw them. Bring out my inmados. Thanks for the life points. Okay, uh, Scape Ghost gonna keep that. Oh, I don't wanna keep that. Yes. Uh, one, two, uh, Mamanga, Mamanke, uh, Marshman, or uh, Makaron. Okay, even if he has five cards on the field that I can attack, I should be able to deflect all his attacks this turn at least. So, uh, that should be fine. Worst case, I go for swords. Oh, this is my chair, sorry. If I seem low, like, woo, I, have to, I have to stand up more. Because I, I want to rec rec recline back, but the thing is, I have to, like, rec like, like stretch up. Otherwise, I'm not in frame anymore, because otherwise I'll be, like, back here, and that doesn't... I'm too far away from the camera, and that keep, things make, keep making noise. I'm terribly sorry about that. This, yeah, this chair makes that noise. when it, it, This chair is very creaky. I don't have, like, a professional gaming chair right now. Ah. The guy's burning through his deck faster than me. What's he doing? Oh, he's drawing cards. Guy, Alistair invoked, you're burning through your deck faster than I am. Unless you have something to prevent deck outs. If I draw my specific card that I have, have Unless you have multiple magicians of chaos that can apparently or other invoked, what's the what was it called? Necros of uh, Trish. <laughs> uh, unless you have more of those, I have a spell card can pretty much just know your entire deck at this moment because of it attacking this attacking this. I also have something. 
I also have uh, I'm also um, I have a trap card in here, which I know trap cards in 2019 really, but I have a trap card that can actually pretty effectively take out, take you out right now. Not take out as in win the duel. I mean take out as in just block off his attacks. I also have swords, but uh, I don't want I kind of don't want to use swords. I don't know why. Just because I'm afraid he's gonna yeah he has something to negate this like. Oh. Uh oh. Oh wait, lost connection. That means he quit. Because I I know if you. I didn't think I would win this easy. Come on, really? You forfeited. Like you you can go down here and click click forfeit like you would in Yu-Gi-Oh. But the thing is, if you close your browser tab. Then it just goes lost connection. So this guy quit via closing the thing. So I guess this guy just this counts as rage quit. We'll see. Okay, I'll set up the next duel and I'll be right with you. The guy just quit. And a lot of you might go, hey, but what if he actually just really lost connection? I have lost connection in this game. Like my internet cut out, and I'm still you. You're still in game. Like if you pop your internet back up. You resume. The like losing actual connection doesn't really do anything for you. The only way that error pops up is you close your tab. So the guy, the guy rage quit against me, or he must have just quit and been like, "Ah, oh, this is boring." It's sad. Okay, the, 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 was the, we're fighting against Query O One. Oh, two cards face down. He has one card in his extra deck. Ooh, Spirit Reaper. Wait. Why don't I... This guy just... I'm two for naught, but none of those really are victories. Why don't I have Spirit Reaper in this deck? Now I'm thinking about, like, my troll deck. See you guys in a... We got a match. Someone called Train. Let me guess. He's running that, like, ten, level 10 Train deck, right? I don't want to go second. Okay, go, friend. Ah, good. Two cards that really, really work well for this deck. Okay, what does the guy do? He sets a card face down. He has nine cards in his extra deck. Okay, uh Ooh, evenly matched. Um Okay, let's let's go cheeky, let's go with the marshmallow and let's go with the gravity bind. Let's in turn. I I've not used any of these extra deck monsters yet. Like I have I haven't used any of them. What's this? Oh, Dragon Ravine. Eh? Is he running blue eyes? Like I know his his profile icon is like blue eyes. Is he running blue eyes? He, he just sent away the diffusion. What? Oh, the skull and called uh, kid Moto dragon, eh? Okay, that, that's a, I haven't really seen like someone throw kid Moto dragon out there. Okay, he's gonna bring kid Moto back. Uh, what's he gonna do with it? Uh, I know this can someone like any. Yep, blue eyes knew it. Called it. He's running blue eyes. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Nice one, nice one. Got rid of Gravity Bind. Kind of upsetting, but it's fine. Ooh, End Phase. Didn't want to attack me for some reason, eh? I'm going to keep evenly matched to my hand, just for in case. Okay, he said it's away, Kid Moto. He's got, is he gonna? Is, is, is he going in for the attack? Yep. Thanks for the life points, and also thanks for getting me two more mangas. Um, what you gonna do now? Okay, okay, steel cage, steel cage. Uh, I don't wanna. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll sit down and in um, uh, Chirion Meadow. 
This 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 duel might be fun. Stretching. Behold the marshmallow. Okay, is he gonna what what is he gonna have a reaction like in the chat log at all? Uh, now, uh, I'll just end it there. If he, if he blows up the Inmado, then he, then I get more cards, so. Do I, do I even have a level 2? Yeah. I can't remember what any of my extra deck monsters do right now, so I'll just... Leave them for now. What's oh, what does Vanguard do? Uh, oh, damn it, I drew another giant jam. Damn it. Okay, uh, let's set Cyber Larva and in our turn. Oh, what was that noise? I heard a noise. Uh, it was like a boom. What's that noise? What's my phone? What's my is my cat is my camera? Okay, guys. Uh, apparently, my camera has run out of space. <laughs> this is quite embarrassing. Um. So yeah, my face is now gone. Uh, terribly sorry about that, guys. Um, I guess I should have checked. It's the first time it's in our space. Uh, that's interesting. Um, we'll continue with this duel like this then. Sorry, guys. Very sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen at all. Huh. Um... Okay, let, let's just keep going with this then. I'm terribly sorry, guys. I have... To, I <laughs> didn't know my camera was so empty. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, he's using... Nice. He's, he's comboing into something. Ah, uh, brings up blue eyes. And, ooh, and red eyes. Whoa. Oh, wow. That was... woefully unexpected. <laughs> but you can attack, so, um... I'd hate to do this to you, friend, but I'm gonna Nightmare Steel Cage you. In turn. I'm terribly sorry, friend. I'm terribly sorry, train. <laughs> yeah, that burst stream was very unexpected. I... And just to anyone thinks this isn't scripted at all, I have no... Oh. Fudge. That spirit dragon's annoying. Stumbling should annoy him for some time. I just put stumbling in this deck because it's annoying. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna keep doing this now. Okay, uh, that that's that that's just very that's, uh, oh my gosh that that combos. That combos disgusting. Oh no. Really? Oh no.
Okay. I think I have a Ragiki or a Murfo or a, or, a, or a Dark Hole in this deck. In fact, I think I have two Dark Holes in this deck. I just draw it now. That red eye. That red eyes is really annoying. Damn it. Oh, so he has to have a blue eyes in his hand to banish Spirit Dragon. That's fine then. If he doesn't have a specific blue eyes in his hand, he can't banish Spirit Dragon. Except he does. He, he okay, but try to bring back blue eyes now. You, you, you can't bring back anything now. You have to get rid of those cards. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's think about this. Let's go for it. Messenger of Peace. In turn. You have, you have to sacrifice one of his cards to bring back Spirit Dragon. And he has all three blue eyes in the field, so... That whole combo won't work anymore. Okay. He might have fight I think I think he screwed himself. I think I think I just won. <laughs> yeah, cause I don't think I, I don't I'm not sure if he's running more than one spirit dragon, and he already has all three blue eyes on the field, so yeah, he, he can't use spirit dragon's like effect to to fudge me over. So and I. If he breaks Messenger of Peace, I have Gravity Bind as a defense, and I have two Shield Wings, meaning <coughs> even if all of this attacked at once, I'd still have at least one. I'll, I'd still be fine. So now we're just kind of having this staring match. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I thought I almost clicked no. I would have, I would have literally, I would have, I know what I would have done. Okay. Save the one day of peace. He's thinking. He's thinking really hard. Has he realized that he has no possible way of defeating me? This deck has blocked him of all his options. I'm surprised how effective this deck seems to be. I just need to get more like negation effects, like effects to negate people from blowing up the back row. Because if I just have stuff that fades in my back row, I'm basically in the, in the clear. Because we've had three people, one guy who just quit because he just actually surrendered, one guy who apparently rage quitted and just closed his tab, and now we have this guy, and everyone seems to not be able to defend against this like I don't think a lot of people in here are running meta decks but still like this guy for some reason isn't using alternative white dragon but still because there's a lot of meta players on this um, website as well like who play meta and this guy just appears to not be and he, th 
he's really thinking what he thinks what do my cards do in fact like, why can't i look at his grave oh wait was that much height i was like wait what is this guy afk So we have to wait the full 30 seconds. Is he just trying to do this, like, see if he can outweigh me? Because I can outweigh you, friend. You have 20 seconds to do something before I just auto win because of him being stupid. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What is these wins today? Why is one by time limit up? One by f surrender? One by rage quit? Why is no one dueling me? Whatever. Well, guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. If you would like to see more things, like recommend me a deck in the descript in the comments and. Recommend me, like, would you like to see more of me just doing random duels with random decks against random people? And also, would you want to duel me? Because I would be fine with dueling people on here. Having, like, not super competitive, but just, like, fun... Just, like, f overall fun duels and just see what we get. So, if if people would like to duel me on this, then just um, s s tell me in the comments, would you like to duel me? And, um, this could... And, uh, we could definitely make something fun out of this so if you guys like the video leave a like also be sure to suck the subscribe button to keep up to date with the channel all the future stuff that i'm gonna do and as always remember that socks are awesome bye guys